My name is Rob Eads and I'm a food blogger with a passion for cooking, travel and fitness. So we're here in Genoa and I'm about to meet a local chef who's going to show us around the food market and then we're going to cook a traditional local pesto pasta. Thank you. Yeah, really well, good. Welcome to Genoa. Thank you. Thanks wow. for having us here. Genoa is the home of pesto, so I've come here to learn how the Genoan people make it. How important is cooking to Italian people and Italian families? We live around food. Ciao! Noi volevamo comprare tre mazzi di basilico per piacere. Are these tomatoes? These are our traditional tomatoes. Okay. They are called beef hearts. Yeah, beef it does. Hearts. It looks like a heart. Yes, they look like a heart. See it there. <laughs> Is it, is it? Oh. It's it strong. It is very strong. Mm. It's, it's bueno. We are preparing mandilli de sea, like the are lasagnas. From what I've learned about the food in Genoa, the cooking all depends on five main things. Pasta, olive oil, basil, cheese, and Parmesan cheese. A bit stronger, don't be shy. We have to get <laughs> <Now beat it. laughs> That is so good. <laughs> so cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Genoa. The city is an amazing melting pot of the old and new. Everywhere you look, you get a sense of its incredible past. You see how tall these buildings are? Yeah. And people came here from abroad. And they were impressed as we are when we see New York. Enrico wanted to show me the best place in Genoa for focaccia genovese. The Genoese focaccia. It is thin, very oily. It's a lot of salt, crunchy outside and soft inside. That's amazing. This is one of the best in town. Focaccia was invented in the medieval ages. Yeah. It was eaten during the marriages. And then they started eating it in church during funerals. I and have a good time. But it's whatever excuse, people will have some focaccia. Exactly, you got yeah. it. After meeting Enrica, I feel like I know a little bit more about the food of the city. And now it's time to head to one of the many mountainside forts. My first day in Genoa has been a whirlwind in a good way. The surrounding area of Genoa offers an incredible array of things to do. So next, I'm heading out of the city to catch a boat from Santa Margarita. It's absolutely stunning. There's a castle up there on the hill, and then you can just see like grand buildings all the way across. So we've just arrived at this stunning place called San Fruttuoso, uh, and the monastery here is over a thousand years old. The only way you can get to San Fruttuoso is by boat or a two-hour hike from the nearest town. So we're on our way around the coast to visit a statue of Christ that's been put 50 feet under the water. Let's do this. The statue of Christ of the Abyss is seen as a symbol of protection, watching over divers around the world. <sighs> oh my gosh, that was incredible. Enrica told me I had to visit Revelo Focacceria in Camoli to check out the Focaccia di Recco. This is a cheesy focaccia which is famous in this region. You'd think there'd be a limit to the number of different kinds of cheesy snack you can find in Genoa, but I haven't found it. <laughs> Sadly, the sun is setting on my trip to this amazing city. There's been food, history, incredibly passionate people, and a wonderful atmosphere, and I can't wait to come back here again. <laughs>